but they have never been to Chicago. Yeah. So they don't even know how it looks. Yeah. They have no, they have, I think, ooh, this, I got to be in the sun. This is all not right, good. Ooh, I feel, ooh, I'm so fat. <laughs> I'm, I don't like this picture this is at all. It's a big moment for me. I'm with well, Mark You know Sims. what? No, no, the picture, no, the picture is, uh, we in the shade, which is cool. Yeah. The picture, I'm not happy with the picture. In fact, I really should be, I'm not happy with this picture. We, no, we, we, no, I'm not. We gonna, we gonna, no, we're going we gonna to do this someplace else. Okay. Well, I ain't happy because I know how it's going to look when it's done. We're going to, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we, yeah, I don't like it. All right, well, I have the sunglasses so we can sit in the light. No, we're going to sit, yeah, we're going to sit in the light. Do you think? Anywhere I My friend got me tickets for a company. Uh, tonight. Yeah, yeah, I know you're not a Cubs fan. Uh, no, 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 I ain't been to Wrigley Field in hundred years. That was no. funny when you pulled the White Sox. <laughs> you're still happy over old Pop. I was a White Sox. You know, th that's, th all you that's get. Chicago. That's, that's all we got. me grief about the White Sox winning in 05, uh, yeah. and I was happy. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. I had tears in my eyes. I know, it was great. <laughs> the camera's rolling because we're going to put this on YouTube as we walk across the street. This is for my YouTube. See, here you go, here you go, Ben. That's Ben. We walk across the street so I can get, okay. so I can uh, do do some Hollywood. Right. I ain't like the lighting in the only over in the shade. No, the uh, no, it, no. I'll be, I'll be. I mean, not in a, in a negative way. I'll be happy for the Cub fans. I'm not saying this uh, sarcastically because I do hope they do uh, live long enough to see the Cubs win. I'm serious. I'm not saying that sarcastically because I, mean, I didn't think the White Sox actually won. I didn't yeah. believe it until I saw the parade go down yeah, the street. Yeah, yeah. You know, we live in this town all your life. You like it's never gonna happen. And, and people are like, why are you so excited the White Sox won? It's not about the White Sox, it's like when the Blackhawks win and uh, you know later next week. Uh, Are you a Blackhawks fan? No, but I used to see him years ago with Jimmy West and on Channel 9. Jimmy yeah, West used to call the games on Channel 9 when I was a kid. Yeah. And so what happened here, now you can see Ben. <laughs> I'm up here walking and talking. And so what so the thing about it is that when those things happen, like the White Sox winning or whatever, and this could be the uh, Blackhawks win that'd be 47 years, people have lived and died in that, in that uh, time frame. Right. And you think about people that you met and people that you know and all the folks who are gone, yeah. and that's, so it's a, it's a momentous occasion when it does happen, when right. it does go down. So when yeah. the Cubs win, folks are gonna weep like babies, yeah. man. <laughs> Real Cub fans are gonna be like, sit right there, we'll set up. Okay. Uh, the, the uh, oh man, when they ever do win, I think the Rickets will get it done. You know why the Rickets gonna get it done? Why? The Chicago wins. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't, wait, wasn't Wrigley a Chicago one? Yeah, they're corporate though. They don't, okay. they don't care. And, uh, <laughs> they don't care. I, uh, I, I, I don't think the Cubs will win in my lifetime. You, oh, you, oh, you said that on camera. Yeah. You don't think Ben says the Cubs will not win in your no, lifetime? No, that's in his lifetime. Yeah, yeah. There's a cur there is a curse. No, I know what it is. I think that you know it could be a curse. <laughs> <It is> a <laughs> I think curse. about it. <laughs> well, it's a curse in this regard. It's a curse that there's so much pressure on them. And the players are overwhelmed, and at a crucial moment, they just feel all that pressure, and they get uptight and nervous and scared, and they make mistakes. Yeah, but here's the thing so about the, the about the players: they're not from Chicago. Yeah, but once they're here, they feel it. They feel it. If you go to a, you go to Wrigley Field, the yeah. anxiety level of the fans are it's so intense. Right. They get so nervous and on the edge. Like, were you here in '03 when the Cubs made it to within? Yeah. Yes. Did you even watch that? I was a limo, I'm a limo driver, so I was outside. Yeah. I was down the street. And I took people to the game. Were you listening? Yes, uh, it was okay. very sad. But wait, you wait. you were here in '84. That's correct. When they went out to San Diego and the Cubs went out to San Diego and they lost three, three in games a row. in a row. Right, right. I was working at McDonald's at yeah. uh, 205, 405 North Riverside. No, okay. Riverside, Riverside Plaza, whatever. It's right behind the Suntans building. There's a kind of meeting behind the Suntans building. Right, I'm working right. at the McDonald's over there. Yeah, I know. Back that in the day. I know that kind of thing. And, uh, and it was the saddest. It was. So, I'm a White Sox fan, but that was sad. Okay, but wait. Fast forward to 2003, and uh, the Cubs had the lead. Yes. Okay. Alou goes over to the stands. What did you say was six outs or five outs? Five outs away. Yeah, five outs away. The, the ball is batted away. Yeah. There's this edge. Of Cub fans. <gasps> oh no. The air, the air came air. out of yeah. It this came out of the stadium. It's all over. Yep. It's 1984. Yep. The ball's going through Leon Durham's legs, and yep. it's you know yep. every stupid thing. And and no, it, it wasn't no way they was going to win that seventh game. Right. So they're and not so, going to win this. It's over. And, it's and over. so those players, it's like those. Oh yeah, we can carry one of them. Carry Wood is not carry Wood is not going to yeah, happen. Yeah. It just it wasn't going to happen. And then and the shortstop makes the error. It, but, it, in other words, the Cub players yeah. feel the edge and the anxiety of the fans, and they choke. And that's what happens. So that's why the Cubs will never. Win the World Series. I, was, there, I don't know if they'll ever be in the World Series. I think it's going to happen because I told the Cub fans, I, I predicted they would burn down Wrigley Field five years after the White Sox won the World Series, which is 05, yeah. but, which is 10 now, 2010. But it did, they're not going to burn down Wrigley Field because they have a new owner. Because right. so it's year one. Yeah, one, year one owner. Yeah. <laughs> so they didn't burn down. Yeah. But I really think they should say, you know, they should tell the Rickets, okay, we give you five years. 
2015. Well, let me ask you a question. 2015. Do you think Cub fans are racist? Uh, the way they treated Dusty Baker. Uh, yes, but it's a late. It's a. We're gonna talk about my white socks. Let's get back to Baker. Get back to my white socks in '83. Okay. Yes, because it's a layer. Dusty's a good manager. Not a great manager. Like we talked on the phone the other day, he uh, he should have went out there after Lou uh, and Bartman and them dropped the ball, right. and calmed everybody down, yeah. and then after if they lost the game, the seventh game you got to get a new Rockney for speech. Right. Not, I mean, yeah, I'm saying you got to do new Rockney. Right. You got to right. you got to. This is for the gift for y'all. Yeah. We not we not gonna lose this one. Yeah. We waited. People lived and died to see this World Series. We at home. We gonna win this. Yeah. Okay, for everybody. And I don't think he's that kind of coach. Yeah. But he, but it's a layer. They giving Lou a pass. Yeah. Lou has never won a playoff game. Never. That's correct. Two, two sweeps. Yes, yeah, right. Two sweeps. Yeah. And if Lou, uh, Lou, uh, uh, Lou was uh, Dusty Baker, yeah. they would run him out on the road. So do you think they're conscious? It's, I think it's just a layer. It's Chicago, man. Yeah. Come on. Exactly. It's, Chicago. It's, yeah, New York, Chicago. It's, it's, it's just a layer, yeah. man. Yeah. It's just a layer. And so, and it all depends. On, you know, we at the University of Chicago, a liberal university, and and the younger generations don't have won't have the racial baggage. My children born in the 90s, your children born in the 90s too, right? Uh, one was, one was in the 80s. In the 80s? I'm old. Wow. She's grown now. Yeah, she's grown. Wow. wow. I'm an old man. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. So I'm saying, but our children won't have the racial baggage yeah. as these younger generations. Well, they still have some. They still have some. But it won't some. be, it won't, it won't it, it's not as bad no, it, every it year. It won't be as bad. Yeah, it gets yeah. better and better. Yeah, it, it does. Won't, it won't be as bad. I mean, you're right. It just won't be as bad. So yeah. it's still there because uh, if, if that was Dusty Baker, Running the team right now, they run them out. Yeah. Never won, never won a playoff game. Two sweeps, yeah, he'd been gone. If the second yeah. sweep, he'd have been gone. Well, I just, I so it's just one layer. Yeah, it's just one layer. It is. Okay, it's just the way they turn on Dusty Baker overnight. Yeah, they turn on Dusty. They turn on Dusty. Unbelievable. And they ain't turned on Luke. <laughs> no, they they love Uncle Luke. Yeah, yeah, Uncle Luke's going to be there until the yeah. next election. But when the White Sox, we, we should go into politics in a minute. This is yeah. Chicago. When the White Sox went to the playoffs in 83, I was there for the first playoff game. 83 you're talking about against Baltimore? Yes, I was there for the first game. In fact, I was there when they when they when they won when they clinched the division, which was a huge thing in this town because right. I wasn't around in '59. Who scored the winning run? I can't remember. It was Carlos somebody? No, it wasn't a Hispanic guy, but it wasn't Carlos. Yeah, right. The second baseman. What was his name? I don't remember. I ain't that. I ain't that to the sports. I, I don't do stats and figures. What's his name? I can see. But his I remember I was on. I was in the, in the outfit with my brother and the best friend from the neighborhood. And when the white when that final out came. Yeah. We just like floated down the wall. We scaled the wall onto the field. It was unbelievable. You were actually on the field. We ran onto the field. Don't arrest me now. We okay. ran onto the field. It was un. It was like magic. Okay. And then I was there for the first playoff game. Now I remember about the first playoff game against Baltimore. It was a night game. It was electric, man. Did they win that game? No, they lose. They, they lost they got, that game. Like they got blown out, didn't they? Yeah, but. It, it may have been the first. Maybe, oh no, it was it was, it was, a, it was the third game because I think they won the first game in Baltimore. They lost the second game in Baltimore. Then the third game in Chicago. They lost that. They lost that, the, the horrible game, and then they lost that afternoon game. No one will talk about it. it hurt me so much. Yeah, yeah, but I was. I saw Eddie Murray hit. I was you know in the stands yeah. on the first on the first level. Eddie Murray hit a home run. It was like, and yeah. I still think it's going across yeah, the expressway. Yeah, it was unbelievable. He hit it over the over yeah. the road. Still falling. Unbelievable, man. Yeah, yeah. So baseball is cool, and yeah. so does you Cub fans. Uh, Y'all better. Tell Mr. Ricketts, the Ricketts family to make it happen. Okay. And you mentioned, you mentioned, see, Chicago, I think Chicago's a racist town. It's racially segregated. I live on the South Side. Yeah. And you know, and you know, you know, you like the South Side? Uh, not really. <laughs> I know you don't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but, I'm here. But, why, but Ben, why do you think the South Side is not like the North Side? It's so provoked, parochial. Everybody is, you know, again, I'm not from Chicago. Yeah, you're not from so Chicago. So I don't think like Chicagoans. And, um, you know, everybody's, it's very tribal in Chicago. We've had this conversation a million times. Very tribal. And uh, so it's my neighbor, our neighborhood, your neighborhood. You know, you can't come into our neighborhood. This is our thing. That's a Chicago mentality. This is our thing. Right. You know? Our thing. The South Side. Right. You can't be a Cub fan if you're from the South Side. You no. can't be a, a White Sox fan if you're from the North. To me, it's ridiculous. I know Why it's are you ridiculous. wasting your time with some silly trivialities? But so that's Chicago ones. They waste their time with trivialities and they lose sight of the bigger picture and then they get robbed. There's like more that. diversity, you know, cultural racial diversity on the north side there of Chicago is. than the south side that's where correct. I live. Why, yeah. why do you think, you've been in this town a long time, why do you think it's more diversity on the north side? Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, that is a great question. Uh, there wasn't a panic. Um, uh, there wasn't the panic, the racial panic that you had in the South Side when, yeah. when black people moved in, white people panicked yes. and ran, okay? Right. For, for, good, some, for good reason. No, cut it out. No.